It's a well-known fact that this very flower bed is haunted. You believe in ghosts? It's okay to say yes, because a little more than one third of American adults do too. And some of them have claimed to have experienced the signs of hauntings that we're all familiar with from horror movies. Apparitions, weird sounds, unexplainable moved objects, and even cold spots. This isn't Amityville or Poltergeist we're talking about here. True believers say these are real haunted houses that you can either stay away from or you can enter if you dare. Take the Whaley House, for example. In 1852, a guy nicknamed Yankee Jim was convicted of grand larceny and hanged to death on a site in San Diego where the Whaley House now resides. Its residents have long claimed to hear the sound of Yankee Jim's boots clomping through the house. In fact, there's so much paranormal activity in the Whaley House that some have declared it the most haunted house in America. Even Regis Philbin claims to have seen a ghost when he stayed there. I'm telling you guys, I saw a ghost! But that's still not as weird as the faces of Belmez. There's a small cottage in the Spanish town of Belmez that's built on an old burial ground. Former resident Maria Gomez Pereira discovered a three-dimensional face there rising up from the cement kitchen floor in 1971. It resembled a plaster casting as if a head was buried below it. Pereira tried to chip away the face with an ax, but underneath she kept finding more and more faces. Some were old men, others were children. Scientists have examined the site and have yet to pinpoint exactly how the faces got there, although there are many forgery hypotheses. You may have heard of Blickling Hall, the most haunted home in all of England. It was once where Anne Boleyn grew up, one of King Henry VIII's wives and mother to Queen Elizabeth I. When Boleyn couldn't provide Henry with a son, she was scandalously charged with treason, adultery and incest, and then decapitated. Every year, on the anniversary of her execution, those at Blickling Hall have cited her ghostly arrival in a carriage drawn by a headless horseman. Boleyn herself is said to carry her own severed head with her. Then there's the Villisca Axe Murder House. Two girls stayed with the Moore family in Villisca, Iowa after church one night in 1912. Sometime between midnight and dawn, an intruder entered the Moore's home and brutally crushed the skulls of all eight people inside with an ax. The killer was never found, and since then, numerous hauntings have been reported, including falling lamps, flying objects, and mysterious voices. Here's one of the plot twists, the LaLaurie House. Some in New Orleans suspected that the wealthy LaLaurie family didn't properly feed or care for their slaves way back in 1831. LaLaurie was fined and forced to sell her slaves, but her family bought them back for her. Later, LaLaurie's cruelty was revealed when her cook set the house on fire and rescuers pulled chained, malnourished slaves from the building. Two died and two more were found buried in the yard. LaLaurie fled town, never punished. The house is still known for its hauntings. LaLaurie even inspired a character on American Horror Story, and actor Nicolas Cage bought the home in 2007, calling it ghost front property. But he lost the haunted house to foreclosure in 2009. Of course, ghost sightings can't be proven, but they do make for great stories. But we want to know, have you ever experienced a haunting yourself? Do you believe in ghosts? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to check out the article for more How Stuff Works knowledge on ghosts, houses, and historical tragedies.